Namaskar. My name is Abhimanyu Dhakal. I am from Sikkim. I am one of the co-founders of Erdia, a brand that is the only manufacturer of Yakon syrup in the entire Indian subcontinent. Abhimanyu and Abhinandan, siblings hailing from Sikkim, are the founders of Erdia, truly Himalayas. The only manufacturer of Yakon syrup in the entire Indian subcontinent. Abhinandan and I um, were lucky to be uh, born in Delhi. Our initial childhood uh, was was lovely. After that, um, we I first I went and then my brother followed me to Nainital. Uh, I was in a boarding school called Sherwood College, and uh, I did my engineering. My brother did his uh, economics from Chennai. I did it from Bangalore. After pursuing their education in the field of engineering and economics respectively, while working at a firm in Dehradun, Abhinandan got the idea and pursued his research about the various food products manufactured in the Himalayas. So when he was there, he understood that the logistics, the manufacturing, the entire uh, ecosystem for food products that are coming from the Himalayas is very very weak within the Himalayas and how the farmers don't get the exact value on the products seeing a similar scenario in sikkim both the founders came up with the idea of a probiotic drink called yakun syrup which is a great aid for diabetes arthya plans to launch few more products by the end of 2022 so yakun for him solved all the problems so what problems are they number 1 the yield is amazing so the farmer can get a better price than what he's getting for ginger or for uh, potatoes the second thing is that the processing of that particular product into a syrup gives us a food supplement which is excellent for diabetics we have a lot of faith in our traditional systems though yakon is not part of the indian traditional system it is part of the south american traditional system where it was consumed as a prebiotic substance for improvement of gut health if that can be respected in south america i am sure as a as a health supplement can be respected in india as well so we are very confident from this product perspective but we are not just sticking to one we have identified certain products that we are going to be doing from this year onwards let us talk a bit about the challenges that an entrepreneur will face or might face and look at it from a positive way see nobody is going to come and give you money for business okay you have to convince everyone the second part is the support that you get from your family and the third aspect is your peers your community so the entrepreneur community which exists in sikkim is very strong along with that i was lucky to be associated with iie where they connected me to other entrepreneurs in the northeast because of lockdowns and stuff like that i was not able to physically go there but we had a lot of sessions online the way we heard about neres was during lockdowns only just before lockdowns this competition was uh, announced and then when we started uh, applying for it it's not easy it's a lot of hard work but if you are at it believe me there is a lot of value that you will not just provide for yourself but purely on a selfish level you will provide a lot of value for your future generation that knowledge is very very important this case study video was presented to you by indian institute of entrepreneurship to celebrate india completing 75 glorious years of independence azadi ka amrit mahotsav